So now let's suppose that we need to find an exponential function. And all we're told about it is that f of 0 equals 1 and f of 2 equals 49. Well, if this is the only information we have, then we're going to assume that our default function is just simply f of x equals a to the x. And so this one shouldn't come as any surprise. f of 0 equals 1 just means that a to the 0 equals 1, which we already know to be true. Well, if that's the case, then there's, no, there's just a 1 in front of here. So all we need to worry about is this f of 2. So f of 2 equals a to the 2. So 49 equals a to the 2. So when I take the square root of both sides, and I bring the plus or minus, it looks like a equals plus or minus 7. However, remember there's a rule from before that says that a has to be greater than 0. So I have to ignore the minus, and we just get that a is positive 7, which means that my function in this case is 7 to the x. Well, let's look at another one. Suppose we have f of 0 equals 3, and f of 2 equals 75. In this particular case, we have to deal with this just a little bit different because in this case, the a, a to the 0 is 1, but f of 0 is also 3. So we need another number in here. Let's say a b. In this case, we're going to get f of 0 equals b a to the 0. So 3 equals b times 1, so b is 3. So our function now looks like f of x equals 3 times a to the x. Now let's go to this next one, f of x, or f of 2, rather, equals 3 times a to the 2. Well, f of 2 is 75, divide by 3, 25 equals a squared. And when I take the square root of this, again, remembering it has to be positive, I get a is 5. So in this case, my function is 3 times... 5 to the x. And notice the x only applies to the 5. It does not also apply to the 3. But that's how we can find functions if all we're given is a point.